the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, CBS Sports presents the NFL as the Cleveland Browns take on the Minnesota Vikings. How to recalibrate their game. And he is a great one. First and ten, first possession of the game, Ponder. Good block by Johnson. Oh, he's got his receiver, Jennings. Belts it out of bounds by Gibson. More importantly, they feel they're better than 0-2. And they are. Gerhardt is in. Third and five. Great time. Great catch. Down to the 15. Grabbed by Jarius Wright. He's the third receiver. Wide open all alone in the end zone. Screen very fast and makes up for some time there. Second and ten. Line the block. Adrian Peterson. Near the six. Franchise leading rusher here in Minnesota. Third down, long run, Peterson. That's Guyon, a defensive lineman, leading the way for Peterson, who is stuck by Jackson, and he's in for the touchdown. A two-yard touchdown run by Adrian Peterson has put the Vikings on their first possession, up 6-0. Five years on a Michigan State, third down and 10. Thomas the block, the tight end, Cameron. And he may have gotten the first down. He did to the 47-yard line. Warrior is where they feel they have an improvement at the quarterback position. Rainey in the backfield from the 47, first and 10. Again, they take care of Allen. Oh, they've got the receiver, Gordon, and that is a touchdown. They work on Smith and Jefferson, a 47-yard strike by Hoyer. And oh. caught by Josh Gordon, returning from the two-game suspension. How is this for accuracy, Kevin? It's a double move. Now, Gordon, they've been wanting this. Look, they set him down, A.J. Jefferson, and then they would get beyond him. Point oh per rushing attempt. That's best in the National Football League. So they're very formidable in their new 3-4 defensive set, not allowing Peterson on the edge. Mingo is in on this play. Third and ten. Grabbed and brought down by Billy Wynn. Billy Wynn. Starting 10 games last year, comes up with the play. It's the first sack by Cleveland. And Hoyer with 3-1. This is Gordon again, looking for a block, and that's exactly what he got from Little. And he's off to the races, and here comes Josh Gordon. Which is what you get after the first two weeks. That offense, those numbers will improve. And he is in on first and 10. Here goes the end around. Gordon, there was a block by Barnage. There was a block by Greco. He's chased out of bounds by the linebacker, Mitchell. McGee okay, is in, couple tights. Second down and 11. Blocked by Barnage to the end zone for the tight end. He got it. Cameron, that is a touchdown. What a catch and what a terrific throw. He beats Sanford a 19-yard strike, and Cleveland is on top. Everyone thought was their best player in it. Many people didn't even think Brian Hoyer was the quarterback who should be starting. So Gundiff kicks it out of the end zone. Touchback to the 21st down and 10. It's first and 10. After two consecutive three and outs by the offense, Adrian Peterson. Knocked up on the play by Paul Kruger. Offensive line up there. They've started the same five offensive linemen now for 19 consecutive games. Second down and four. Peterson got by Jackson. Got by Robertson into the secondary. Putting points on the board very quickly. Second down and 11. Khalil with the good block going deep for Patterson. What a catch. Working on screen. Inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. First and 10 from the Cleveland 19. Greg Jennings. Second down and goal at the six-yard line for the Minnesota Vikings. Quarterback draw. That is a touchdown. Chris Ponder. Wow. <laughs> we said that Musgrave had to come up with something imaginative. Yeah, yeah. In the training camp. Patriots are on a roll right now. They get it clicking between those wide receivers and Tom Brady. Watch out. Third down and six. They're on Hoyer, and he gets it off to Gordon, who they cannot stop. He picks up five. Sheryls. An excellent tackle in the open field. And Gerald's back there to retrieve this punt with a fake and taken up the middle. And look at this run right here. It's the personal protector, Josh Aubrey, who is a rookie who brings it up the middle. Shades of when the Cleveland Browns went to New Orleans a couple years ago with some great special teams play. 
his, his leadership, I think, comes to the forefront right away with his teammates. Also wanted to throw it up into the stands. Third and eight. Bess, shy of the first. Shoved out of bounds that time by Josh Robinson. He is three of three. And he got it. 17-14 Cleveland. Gerhard is in, second and one, six. Ponder, good block by Gerhard. Deflected and picked off by Ward. Here he goes. And sheds one oncoming tackler, takes it inside the 40 of the Vikings. Zach Lane couldn't bring him down. And the interception by T.J. Ward. Obanaya is in, second down and 10. Blocked by Thomas. There they've got Gordon on the fly. Taken down by Josh Robinson. Hoyer. Bess could not find the handle. Sheryls was right there. Playing well so far for these Cleveland Browns. A fake, and it's caught by Cameron. He's inside the pylon, and that is a touchdown. Wow. Well, maybe it, let's see. <laughs> it looked like he touched the pie a lot with his leg. Of legs. course he hit Thank you. It was very obvious. It's an 11-yard <laughs> touchdown pass. Well designed. Boy, the Cleveland Browns, they're, they're doing a great coaching job here today. Jordan Cameron to put the touchdown on the board. Why wasn't anybody on him? Up the middle to come and brought down that time by a hard-charging Phil Taylor. But your husband, man, is doing a very nice job in Minneapolis today. Third and 12. Honda going deep and looking for Simpson, who is doubled on the play by Deshaun Gibson and by T.J. Ward. Jeff Locke was a fifth-round pick out of UCLA. He is a rookie, and he sends this to Benjamin out of the University of Miami. He bobbles it. He's hit. It's loose. It's Minnesota's ball. And picking it up and taking it the other way is Larry Dean. But they will mark him down at the 26. Really should have lost the timeout because he challenged the call on the field. Two-minute warning, third and 11. Ponder, Adrian Peterson, grabbed by a two-yard gain. Watch your head, Bob. Watch your head, Bob. And he brings the Vikes a little bit closer. Was able to stay in the facility, wasn't able to practice, but was in all the team meetings, and boy, you could tell he's taking advantage of his time on the field. Third down and six. That's on the money, caught by Bess. First down at the Cleveland 33. Open eye is in, Bess, by the way. Three, four catches on third down today. Intercepted, picked off by Harrison Smith. His second interception of the season. And he gives Minnesota outstanding field position. He's got four tackles already. Second down and ten. Honda. Spot by Patterson. Instead of quick Viking timeout, they've got it first and ten from the 35 of the Browns. Honda. He's already got a six-yard touchdown run today. Ward makes sure he's down as he... Gerhardt. Running back is Gerhardt, first and goal of the 10. And looking for Jennings. Broken up, Buster screen. Second down and goal of the 10. Here comes Shear. Knocked it away. Picked up by Robertson. Charlie Johnson can't bring him down. Sullivan is there. Whoop. Look, whoop. <laughs> Look, running around. And out of bounds. Maybe on his feet still and then hits the chalk and time has elapsed and they will call it a fumble and not an incompletion Certainly no points in what could have been a scoring opportunity that For the Vikings a... ball. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a fumble is Obaniah back there with the quarterback Hoyer third down and eight Right on the money there, caught by Bess, who's got the first down. Rainey in the backfield, first and ten from the 33. Here comes Allen, Hoyer, great catch by Bess. 
even down to nine. Boy, that ball comes out quick. That's a catch made by Little. Phenomenal for this football team. First and ten. Oh, it's picked off by the linebacker, Chad Greenway. He's then tackled by O'Neill Cousins. Second interception thrown by Hoyer. 24-yard return. We're trying to avoid falling to 0-3 here today. Second down and six. Here comes Peterson again. Oh, he fumbled the ball. He fumbled last week, and he fumbles again today. And Cleveland's got it. It was a hit by Dequell Jackson. Three times in all three games so far this season. Makes it tough when you're a good football team, but you just keep turning the ball over. Willis McGahee. Six defensive backs, third down and six. Out of bounds, looking for Gordon. Sheryls is on him. Stress the importance of education. Top of the screen, they got a linebacker on a tight end, and here's a pass coming inside for Patterson. The coverage by Hayden. Ponder in Minnesota facing third down and ten. Adrian Peterson with Ward. Shy of the first down to Travis Benjamin, who muffed the last time a punt return when he was out there. Here he goes. Hit by Harrison Smith. Knocked down on the play by Robert Plant. Watch for number 15. He's in motion right now. That's best third down and four. Boyer's second option. Oh, and he's got Gordon. That's a first down. Oh, it caught it out of bounds. He just settle your feet right there and hold on to the ball. See, I think had he known where he was, he sort of lost track. You get great field position. Remember, we've seen a big punt. We've seen him pull out the stops for the Cleveland Browns. Fourth and four. Batted down. Kevin Williams, but timeout. We were pointing to something. No, it's just an incomplete pass. We thought maybe they were going to call a timeout right before the snap. It was wasn't in time, and so the incompletion. Williams knocks it away. They turn it over on downs. Peterson on first and ten. He got by screen. Second down and five. Here they come. Hughes has recorded Cleveland's fourth sack today. Ponder goes down. Third down and 12. They need the 41 of the Cleveland Browns. Peterson to the backfield. Mingo comes up with a knock down there. His second sack in as many weeks. He's only played two NFL games. The fifth sack by Cleveland. Mingo was the sixth overall pick out of LSU. He got hurt in preseason, bruised along October, I think August 15th. And he just had a huge defensive play. Willis McGee on first and ten. Obanaya in the backfield. Play clock at five. Hoyer. It was deflected and it's intercepted on the play by Aaron Henderson. To the nine. The third interception thrown by quarterback Brian Hoyer. Peterson at the top of your screen, third and goal at the eight. He ran one in earlier. He runs in another. Second rushing touchdown for Christian Ponder. He's thrown two picks. He's got McGahee in the backfield. Back to throw. Henderson comes through. It's the first sack for Aaron Henderson who's got. And the run by Obanaya as he takes it up. And boy, he was close, wasn't he? He was just that close. Third down and eight. Earhart is in. Ponder will capture the first down. Hayden will usher him out of bounds. Come to Ponder again. He goes outside. Caught by Greg Jennings. He was hit by Jackson. He's got the first down. Out of this inconsistent pattern that we've seen from him. Right now he has a third and seven. 
Here comes Jackson and Kruger flags all over the field. Ponder racing for a first down should they allow it. He's got the yards to the 35. Personal foul, face mask, number 52 defense. What should have been a sack and what would be a sack. There's the one by DeQuill Jackson and then there another by Paul Kruger. With Peterson in the backfield, third down and two. Oh, they got him with the blitzing Robertson, who comes in, stops the drive. Second year player, 30 yard try here by Blair Walsh. Got it perfect in the dome, perfect this season. Cleveland Browns have been held without a first down in their last three series. Here they have it on their 21st and 10. Hoyer to Gordon. Looking for a block, Little provides it. Second down and two. McGahee at his side. Gordon. Shells defends, makes the stop. Marvin Jones, their third receiver in Cincinnati. Oh, uh, they need some opposite of A.J. Green. Second and ten, Robinson devours Hoyer. The sack to the 20. It's the second one by the Vikings today. No one has given up more sacks in the NFL than the Cleveland offensive line. Third and 19. Hoyer behind an open Jordan Cameron. Five defensive backs, third down and ten for Ponder. Grabbed by screen, drags him to the 30, picks up nine. Hoyer with the first and ten. Rainey in the backfield. Thomas the block at the left tackle. And he's got Bess, who's been a reliable receiver today. Rainey remains first and ten. Here comes Robinson. Here comes Henderson. There goes the fumble. It's loose. Schwartz falls on it back at the 21. Unless they marked him down, which they did at the 30. Third and 20. They need midfield. Underneath, Obanaya. Good open field tackle there by Marcus Sherrill. And second down and 10. Peterson, there's the hole. There was a block by the tight end, Carlson. The ability to coach your team to victory is paramount in the NFL. Watch for Ponder. He has scrambled for first downs on third a couple times. This time he overshoots Jennings with the coverage by Hayden. It's fourth down. They got a punt. Into the nickel, second down and ten. Robinson is blocked. Hoyer way over the head a little. Or the tight end, Jordan Cameron, if he's matched up with a linebacker. Still the nickel, third and ten. Blocked by Obanaya. They got Gordon on a slant. He's got the first down. The offense is moving. Second down and seven. And the catch by Obanaya. The punter has kicked before. And college at South Carolina, first and ten. Hoyer, good block by Thomas. Going deep and looking for Little and all kinds of purple around him. At the end zone. Iron and Iron. good kick in preseason with the game winner in Chicago. Second down and ten. And caught by Cameron, who was belted by Harrison. Did he reel in the ball? Yes, he did to the 17-yard line. A 13-yard pass completion, so on this drive, is able to recover it. It is a first down. Hoyer again. Another completion. Here comes the twirling Gordon. Corkscrewing to the seven. He's still able to haul it in with one hand. What a drive engineered by Brian Hoyer in his second career start. On the drive. It's first and goal at the seven. To the end zone and incomplete. One timeout remaining. Hoyer throws it away. It's third and goal at the seven. For Cleveland born and raised, Brian Hoyer. Here comes Allen. There's the pass. It's a touchdown! The third today by the tight end, Cameron. Can you believe the Browns on third and goal at the seven? I can not believe it because it was with 10 seconds left in the game one week ago. Leap over their second string quarterback Jason Campbell to start the third stringer Brian Hoyer and yet they have the lead with 47 seconds to go. Rounds in the nickel first and ten for Ponder. Crumble in pocket. 
Peterson's got it. Hit on the play by Robertson. Gain of four. 33. It is second down and six. Under to his tight end, Rudolph, in front of Hayden. Under with the third down and two. This is Simpson on the move and brought down on the play by Jackson. First and ten from the 48 of Cleveland. Load hope the block at the right tackle. In the middle of the field, it's Rudolph. Hit by screen, gain of seven, finally. The interesting story was he wasn't even the backup. He was the third string. Got to take a shot at the end zone at some point here, Kevin. Second and three. Ponder thinking that. Now he's going to go underneath. It's Peterson. Racing out of bounds at the 35. First and ten for Ponder at the 34 of the Browns. Middle of the field, Hail Mary. That's what he's going for. And deep and looking for Simpson. Coverage by Ward and to Sean Gibson. Second down 10, four seconds to play. Browns on top, last chance for the Vikings. Ponder hit and brought down and Cleveland wins. With the sack, Desmond Bishop, seventh consecutive game with the sack. The sixth by Chadzinski's defense and Brian Hoyer. Comes up with a win, his first career, and the first career head coaching win of Toledo Born.